Hello YouTube, what's up? My name is Quinton and welcome to my HTML and CSS tutorial. Now if you guys just stumbled across this video and you don't know what HTML and CSS is, then it's actually the language that websites are written in. And for these tutorials I'm going to assume that anyone watching has never had any experience with HTML and CSS before. That way anyone watching will be able to join in and follow along. So I know I've already told you that HTML and CSS are the languages that websites are written in, but let's break it down a little more. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is all of the content of our website, all the paragraphs, all the headers, and all the images, etc. While CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. We, and we use this to style the website. So basically choosing what color we want our background or what color we want our text, borders, etc. So we can take a look at a practical example real quick. If we just open up our browser, and in this case I'm using Firefox, and we can go to any web page we want and just right click somewhere and then click inspect element. And as you see this little bar appears at the bottom of the screen which I can then scroll up and you know we see all of this code that doesn't really make much sense to us at the moment and if you can read it you're welcome to try and read it and then I'm gonna click this little style button in the bottom corner here and this window is gonna appear which uh, again is just a bunch of words in some brackets and uh, you can try read this too but it, it might not make any sense to you either but right now, this is actually HTML, all the stuff here on the left, and all of the stuff here on the right is actually CSS. And like I said, you can try read it now if you want, but it's probably not going to make much sense to you. But if you come back at the end of the tutorials and you go try read through this again, it's actually going to make sense and you're actually going to be able to understand what you're reading. So there we go, that's where we're going with the next few tutorials. Now to follow along with the rest of my tutorials, you are going to need to download some software. And the first thing you're going to need to download is a good text editor. And it's probably best if you use the same one as me. And the one that I use is Notepad++ because it's one of the best and it's free. And to download Notepad++, just go over to the Notepad++ website. I'll leave the link in the description. And then just make sure you go to the download page. And once you get to the download page, you'll just see here Notepad++ Installer. Okay, this is the one that most of you guys are going to want to download. So just go ahead and click on that. And then you can just go ahead and save the file. Now, I'm not going to save it because I already have it downloaded on my computer and I don't need to download it again. But uh, for you guys, just go ahead and download and install it. And once you run it, you should get a program that looks like this. And the next thing you're going to need is a good browser. Now I recommend you switch to Firefox but if you really don't want to use Firefox then Chrome should work just fine too. So go ahead and follow the links below and download the software and then you can meet up with me in the next tutorial where we will actually start writing some code. But for now, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, feel free to leave a comment don't hesitate to like and share my videos and I'll see you next time.